Stamp 1, Stamp 2, Stamp 3, Stamp 4, Stamp 5, Stamp 6. There's hundreds of different types of stamps when you come to Ireland. And it's so confusing most of the times. Through this short video, I'm going to explain about different types of stamps that you as a non-European candidate or non-European employee has to keep in mind. I've explained all different types of stamps in this simple portrait here. So I'm going to po post this picture in the end of the video so you can actually read through it. Um, and um, it explains every single details. The nine different types of stamps in Ireland. First one is stamp zero. It's a temporary period stay where you have, you have to have your own private medical insurance. Uh, as well as you cannot receive any benefits or use any public funded services. That means you can't use any public hospitals. As well as you should be, you should be financially independent to have this stamp zero. When you have stamp one, you can work under work permit. You should never forget to renew your stamp one visa or stamp one before the expiry. Please understand that this stamp one is recognable as residence when you're applying for Irish naturalization. Let's talk about Stamp 1A. Stamp 1A is permission in full-time paid accountancy training. During the Stamp 1A, you can study accountancy as a trainee as well as you can be employed as a trainee accountant. Also, you must not engage in any other businesses. The next stamp which I'm going to talk about is called Stamp 1G. That is the most sought out questions which I've, which I've been receiving for the last many weeks. So Stamp 1G has been categorized into two where one stamp where if you are a student that applies to two people. One is students as well as uh, second, uh, second is the spouses of critical skills work permit which I'll be talking in later stage. So if you are a student currently holding Stamp 2 or Stamp 2A and, f and finished your studies you ha and you have the permission to work to look for work. So if you're a student, you are here in Ireland um, studying your degree or masters and after that you'll be allowed to have a stamp 1G where um, students can work up to 40 hours per week. The second thing, we on 6th of March 2019, critical skills uh, employment uh, permit, critical skills work permit holders, spouses can apply for stamp 1G as well. No need for spousal dependent work permit anymore. Previously, spouses of um, critical skills work permit had to apply for spousal dependent work permits. From 6th of March, they have taken that away. So uh, critical skills work permit holder spouses can apply for this stamp 1G, but they're not permitted to operate business or they can't be self-employed. So there are two, two major things that uh, stamp 1G personnel has to understand. They can't be self-employed as well as they can't operate any businesses. Another stamp which I'm talking talking about is Stamp 2A or Stamp 2. It is study full-time. If you're coming here to study full-time, you can work up to 20 hours per week during the school, school, school hours as well as 40 hours per week when you are on holidays. There's another subcategory is called uh, Stamp Two-way, where you're not allowed to work. If you're coming to study, you're basically going to study. That's all. Stamp three is uh, you can stay in Ireland. This is mostly the spouses when they come from India or Philippines or any other non-European countries. You'll be issued on the Stamp three visa, where you can stay in Ireland. You cannot work. It's only basically for family reunification. Stamp four. I think most of you people know what Stamp four is. If you are here on a critical skills work permit after two years, you'll be issued a uh, Stamp four visa, and uh, during that you can uh, you can take any employment without any work permit. You don't need any work permit anymore, as well as you can establish any businesses. So if you if you like to establish a business, wait till Stamp four. Stamp five is uh, Stamp five and Stamp six is very rare, where uh, permissions to stay in Ireland without any limits on the time you can remain in Ireland until your passport expires, stamp five it is. Stamp six is about Irish citizens who hold dual citizenship. That doesn't apply for uh, people from India. It, uh, people from Philippines can actually hold dual citizenship. That's what I've heard. That stamp six will be applicable to people, those who hold dual citizenship. So guys, I'm going to recap again. The uh, stamp zero is actually temporary period stay. As I said, you have to hold a private medical insurance because you cannot access any publicly funded services. That means you cannot access any public hospitals. You should be financially independent. Stamp one is you can work on the stamp one, but you have to remember that you have to renew it every single year. Stamp one A is you have permission uh, to stay here full time, but you're here to study accountancy as a trainee or be employed as a trainee accountant. 
but you should not engage in any other businesses. Stamp 1G is one of the sought out stamps, as I, as I mentioned earlier on, which, which applies to two different uh, categories of people. One is critical skills work permit holder spouses, as well as students. If you are a student and you came here to do uh, your degree or masters, after your college period, you will be issued Stamp 1G, where you can work up to 40 hours per week. And again, on 6th of March, critical skills work permit holder uh, spouses can apply for Stamp 1G. No need for spousal dependent work permit going forward, but you're not permitted to operate any business or you cannot be self-employed. One thing you have to understand, if you hold Stamp 1G, you have to renew it annually and after five years, you will automatically be issued with Stamp 4. Now I want to talk about Stamp 2, where Stamp 2 is focused on students, where you can you have to be here studying full time. During your college hours, you can do 20 hours per week and during your holiday period, you can work up to 40 hours per week. Stamp 3 is focused on family reunification. You can uh, stay in Ireland, but you cannot work under any circumstances. Stamp 4, I think most of you people know what Stamp 4 is. If you are here with critical skills work permit, after two years, you will be automatically going into Stamp 4, where you can take any employment. You, you don't need any work permit. As it is, you can establish your, your own business. Stamp 4 also applies for spouses of Irish citizens. And stamp 5 and Stamp 6 are very rare, um, where stamp, stamp 5 you have permission to stay in Ireland without any limits until your passport expires. Stamp 6 is apl applicable for Irish citizens, those who hold dual citizenship. I think guys, I have explained this big topic into such a simple video. If you have more questions guys, please shoot down in the comment below as well as I'm going to place a couple of links in the description below. For uh, One is citizensinformation.ie as well as inis.gov.ie. These are very important websites. You have to go through these websites if you want to know more about it guys. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Higher until next time, with love, Shreen Iyer signing off. Thank you.